would you be willing to do this? Look into the eye, face to face, stare down one of the largest creatures on earth. And I don't mean going to a zoo or looking at them in a cage or you've got them leashed up where they're safely away from you, constrained. No, out in the wild where they live, where they are in charge, would you do that? That's what I've been doing for a week following humpback whales, getting in the water, staring them in the eye. And boy, do they have a big eye. We're with Tom Conlon, who runs Aquatic Adventures and makes it possible for people to do this. Welcome to the show, Tom. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. It's got to be, for people who have never had any kind of encounter with wildlife, on such a personal basis, it's got to blow their minds. Uh, it, it does. It, you, you really can't put it into words um, uh, because everybody feels a little different about it. But uh, when you're in the water with a 45-foot... 45 ton marine mammal and they look at you with that four inch eye and you're four or five feet away from it and you see how peaceful they are and how accepting they are with you in the water, uh, you'll, you'll never forget it. By the way, you're listening to National Geographic Weekend. We're talking with Tom Conlon, uh, who is a head of aquatic adventures and the whole purpose. I met Tom 15 years ago now. I was out here on an area called the Silver Bank, about 80 miles from Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. And the whales gather here every year for, this is what, their summer vacation? Well, yeah, this is where they mate and calve. Uh, uh, one of the things that we've learned in the last couple of years by doing uh, satellite tagging at the end of the season with NOAA, what they found now is that whales are coming from the whole North Atlantic. Um, one of the satellite tags we put on, uh, one of the females uh, stopped transmitting when they were in Norway. So they're coming from the entire North Atlantic to come down here to mate and calf. And this is a special area because it's protected with this reef that keeps the big waves out. And the calves, even though they're whales, they don't know how to swim and breathe that well. They are mammals, marine mammals, so they've got to come to the surface oh, when they're young, like four or five minutes. When they're a couple weeks old, um, they'll need to, they'll come up every two to three, four minutes, depending on whether they're resting or whether they're, they're traveling. But that whole Silver Bank area, I mean, it's, it's a perfect place for them to mate and calve. I, I truly believe it's like one of this uh, hemisphere's last oceanic frontiers. Between five and 7,000 whales come through the Silver Bank in a season. And you call it soft uh, encounters because you don't swim after them. You just get in the water and if the whales want to hang, and they may be resting on the bottom, just resting, and the calf every five minutes will come out from under the belly of the mom, swim to the surface, take a breath, and then every, what, 15, 20 minutes, the mom will come up. Exactly. One of the uh, most incredible things you'll see is when that little calf, the mother's resting because we build the confidence in the mother, and we become like toys for the calf because they're born 12 to 14 feet long, they weigh a ton and a half, two tons, they put on a 100 pounds and an inch a day, when they stick their little head up underneath their pectoral fin, because they do have to come up every three minutes and breathe, and they come up and they do what I call the little circle thing and swim around you, and uh, it's an incredible experience. So you... Yeah, we're, we're talking about the baby calves, and the ones we were swimming with this week were about 20 feet long. Yeah. They're big and they're heavy, so if they bump into you, it would you would know it. Well, the thing about calves, to me, the adults have perfect Tai Chi. They're, they're in control of their bodies. They know exactly where their pectoral fins are going and what's going on. They're, the calves, on the other hand, their buoyancy isn't under control yet, and they'll get close to you, their eyes will bug out of their head, and then they kind of scramble. <laughs> so they're kind of more dangerous than the, the adults. Not that they want to hurt you, they want to play. But when a two-ton, three-ton calf bumps into you, it's a little harder than you knocking me in the arm. Yeah, it becomes tackle football. That's that exactly, <laughs> exactly. The Silver Bank is one of the few places in the world where you can get in the water with humpback whales and watch as a 20-ton calf swim circles around you. The permits are limited, and for the most part, the whales are only here from the end of January to the middle of April. But you can hear all about the adventure and the rest of my interview with Tom Conlon this week on my radio show, National Geographic Weekend.